Boys and girls, do you remember this thing? This is the EcoFlow Delta. It's a solar generator or power bank. Some people don't like the term solar generator. They think it's ingenuine. But this thing right here, uh, last summer, I did a review about this thing. I plugged nine different appliances into it and tested it to see how they functioned. When I published that video, an overwhelming number of you guys asked to see how this thing stacks up against a refrigerator or a freezer. So I heard your questions and this is exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. First things first, I just wanna point out that this thing is charged at 100%. The freezer I'm gonna be working with today is a seven cubic foot Frigidaire. Ooh, Frigidaire. Came with a little bit of paperwork. It looks like this fridge uses about 250 kilowatt hours per year. Here's a little bit more specs on this fridge. I might um, just blow this up, take a picture of it and post it in this video somewhere so that you guys can pause the video and take a nice good look. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, let me just quickly tell you that the wattage of this freezer is 130 watts. Running amperage is 1.45 amps and base voltage appears to be about 115 volts, 127 volt max. So those are the specs. I'm not gonna get super scientific about this experiment. I'm just gonna plug the freezer into the EcoFlow Delta, set a timer, set a time lapse so that I don't have to be here all day. And then we're gonna see how long this thing can power that thing. All right, let's just do this real quick. Turn the freezer around and show you that the cord is indeed plugged into the freezer. It's not plugged into anything. So there's no funny business going around. Let's go ahead and plug that in here now. Boom. We're gonna turn this thing on. Boom, 100%. And somewhere around here, actually, let's see if it works first. The uh, cold or coldest? Let's try coldest. Power. Well, bam, we got power. So it's a freezer. It's supposed to freeze stuff, not refrigerate stuff. So I'm, I'm just gonna set it to coldest. It's looking like it's using about here. I'll show you. That's set to coldest. Looks like it might be able to run for about 12 hours because it's using about 94, 95 watts. So this is gonna be a long time lapse. Okay, so this experiment is gonna be super simple. I have the fridge on the left, I have the EcoFlow right there, and above it I have a little clock. It's currently 3.28 p.m. And so I'm gonna just start everything like so. See, everything is running. Oh dang, it's making some noise, isn't it? Huh. Okay, power's on. And I'm just gonna set a time lapse and we'll see how long this thing goes based off that clock. All right, let's do this.
All right, let's check in on this thing. It is now almost 6.30 in the morning. This thing has lasted way longer than I thought. I thought maybe it would last like an hour and 40 minutes, maybe three hours. Um, but I started at roughly 3.30 p.m. And now it's almost 6.30 a.m. So what is that, like 15 hours? I'd also like to point out that whereas uh, where the EcoFlow Delta started out really loud, the fan kicked on and it was pretty loud in the beginning. The fan quieted down. And what I think I attribute that to is that initially to get a freezer cold, it's using more wattage. So the fan kicks in, it's doing its job. But once it gets up to freezing temperature, then this thing doesn't sound very loud at all. And as you can see, there's still about 12% remaining. So 15 hours with a little juice still in the tank, I think that's really good. I mean, you know, if you're storing a bunch of food and the power goes out and you have that as a backup, it gives you almost an extra day as a reserve. One more thing, just to show you that it's actually freezing, I threw a banana in there because I didn't have a temperature gauge. And at this point, the banana is frozen solid. Look at this. It looks frozen. these things all the way to zero and really I should have stopped it at about 20% that'll keep the battery functioning the longest but since I feel obligated to show you guys you know how long it will go I'm willing to push it a little bit so once again the time is now 7.04 a.m. it's been 15 and a half hours and the battery is going at the battery still has nine percent left in it so, I am going to unplug it. Do this. You can see that when I unplug that, the freezer turned off. So there's no funny business. And I guess that's the end of the video. 15 and a half hours is huge. I expected it to go two, three hours max. It went 15 and a half. I feel like that's incredible. And it makes this thing even more valuable to me. I'm curious to know what you think though. So leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Did this thing do well? Did it exceed all your expectations? Or do you feel like it should have gone longer? Leave me a comment below. Last but not least, let's go make sure this thing is indeed fully frozen. And the way we're going to do that is by chopping this banana in half. Look at that. Frozen solid. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos just like this, but totally different, subscribe to this channel, Butenko Films.